Also today, say goodbye to Bonton. The bankrupt chain will close for good after today. Yeah, that includes eight locations here in western New York. Emily Lampa is live outside of Bonton this morning with a look at how the store got to where it is today and what will happen with all those empty buildings. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Pete, Kate. I'm here at the Bonton at the Eastern Hills Mall. And while it's dark and quiet right now, that could cha soon change in the coming hours as people come out here to possibly cash in on some last minute liquidation deals or maybe just for nostalgia's sake. Now, this location specifically is just one, like you said, of eight locations across uh, Western New York that could be closing today. And I say could be, I'll explain that just a bit, but this location, probably only one that has a somewhat certain future, immediate future that is, because just as the Buffalo News had reported last week, Raymore and Flanagan apparently plans to take over this location as a tenant. So how did this department store chain get to this point? We are told that it was back in May when Reuters first reported the company's bankruptcy. It was clear that Bonton was going out of business when the only bidders to compete in the auction for the department stores were liquidators. Reuters said money from that auction would be used to pay Bonton's creditors. Now, besides the Eastern Hills Mall location, the other Western New York Bonton locations are, of course, the McKinley Mall, Chautauqua Mall, Olean Center Mall, the former Summit Mall. Also, there are locations in West Seneca, town of Tonawanda, and Lockport. But once the stores are closed, it looks like the Lockport location will be up for auction next month, but it's not clear at this time what will happen with the other six locations. Of course, we have calls out about that specifically. But just to be clear, August 29th is an estimated closing date. And that's because according to the Great American Great American Group, that's the company that's liquidating these stores, is that they came up with this date because they estimated the, the inventory would be completely run out by this time. 66 stores out of the 212 across the nation already closed. Great American estimates the inventory value is about $2.2 million. They're about 95% of the way there. We're told that they believe that everything will be said and done by the end of this month. That's Friday. Reporting live in Williamsville, Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.